everybody, it's me, Kasha Wolf, and today is a video you guys have been waiting for a long, for a very long time actually, and um, it's also another video that is being sponsored by Soulfeel. Now, there's a couple of things I wanted to go over really quick with you guys before we got into today's video, but first, I do want to talk about Soulfeel because they are again sponsoring another video for us, which. I think is absolutely amazing and I do know that the only reason that this is possible is because of you guys, the Wolf Pack. And that makes me really happy to know that you guys are actually supporting this and helping me continue to do what I love doing. But I have a lot of updates for you guys and I will be telling you that in this video before we get a little bit deeper. But in today's sponsored video, they have actually provided a watch and this super cute little choker necklace. Now. For those of you who don't know, Soulfeel is a company that produces custom jewelry, being photos on watches and custom like little necklaces and other jewelry, along with even charms for bracelets, like the Pandora bracelets. But they do also have their own bracelets and it's all very affordable, along with their other jewelry. Soulfeel has just recently come out with watches, custom watches, and they are absolutely awesome and beautiful, and I love it so very much. The one that they sent me, I actually had Kakashi from Naruto put on it, and the reason why I had that done is because I cannot find, you know, a really nice watch that has anime on it, and their watches are so pretty. Like, I love their watches, and the fact that you can customize it just makes it even better, because things that you cannot always find like watches or wallets and stuff like that. I'm I'm a super nerd when it comes to anime and other shows like that. And like just shows, movies and everything in general. And if I can sport any of that stuff, I do. Like I have Kakashi on my cell phone case and I even have an Ombu Black Ops tattoo. Like I'm crazy for it. And this watch, I was able to get Kakashi on my watch. Now something else that you can do is get a pentacle or a pentagram if you want. A wolf, I even consider putting a wolf on the back of mine. And you can get runes, you can get symbols of protection put on the watch. So that, that way you have something that's practical that you can use, like checking the time, but you also get to enjoy it with something that you like in the background. And this can even be a family photo if you wanted it to be. But something else that I found very interesting that I saw on Soulfield's Instagram was a crystal or a stone as the background, which looked stunning. I loved it so much. And they have different watches. They have silver, they have gold, they have rose gold. They have different sizes for the actual watch itself. And this is very good. Now this necklace, oh my goodness, this is so cute. It is so cute. I have W-A-W. -W, and the reason why I did it that way is because the A is for Akasha and the W is for Wolf. But I didn't know what else to put on the one side. I wanted it to kind of look like a pretty little piece without it totally looking like letters. So I just put W-A-W -W because the W's just look like a design. And you can customize it and get whatever you want on it as well. And for me, I'm like, if anyone asks, it could be which Akasha Wolf if they wanted to get particular with it. But yeah, you guys, I hope you check out their stuff online, they're having sales, and they even have provided another code here where you can get 15% off your entire purchase. So guys, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you'll continue supporting Soul Feel, and let's get into today's video. All right, everybody. So um, I know it's been a long time since I've been posting, and you guys all know that I've been going to school, and I have been going to school for dealing, and I'm still currently in school, and I had to get a job because of finances. So. Um, I learned a game and then I went and I started getting a job and now currently I am a dealer. So we were started on day shift for training so then that took away a lot of my time through the day and even took some time from school but currently now I just got switched over to swing shift so now I'm going to have time to make videos, thank goodness. And I'm going to try to push out more and more content because honestly if I can end up doing this as my job, I will. But currently with how YouTube is going and advertisements and just analytics and money and stuff like that, it's not something that I can do 
by itself I need to work so that that way I can afford to eat because I like to eat food is good and I'm like fat at heart I love eating so <laughs> yeah anyways yeah I'm so right now I'm, I'm working and it's gonna be a lot because I want to make videos but I'm going to school and I'm working so it's gonna be a lot but I'm willing to do it because this is what I want to do I it's not that I don't like dealing dealing is actually very fun I'm a I'm a dealer out here in Vegas and I love dealing it's fun it's so fun and I hope to be dealing crap soon which would be really cool too but I want to do this this is what I want to do and I haven't been getting that many people who have been requesting readings so I can't live off of that either so I had to put away my tarot cards for a little bit and pick up a regular deck of cards and start dealing so that's what I'm doing now but today's video is actually um, our vlogs that we've been working on together the ultra vlog the ultra that I've been working on for a long time which I am going to make sure I put time in that for that but the videos that you are about to see of the vlog is kind of old <laughs> and it, it's like pretty old and this was before I left for Ireland and it's like a while back like a while back you guys so I just wanted to keep you guys updated to let you know so you can just pop into this video like holy crap this is old <laughs> and you can see my hair is different but um yeah you guys so if it just seems out of place you hear me talking about Ireland and stuff I already went I already got my tattoo and everything and um, this is some footage I've been hanging on for a while I've been having issues with my laptop but now that's fine and I had recorded something before and now I have recorded again right now just to keep you guys updated but yeah my laptop's been weird so I'm getting this out there just keeping you guys updated so please enjoy the video and remember it is old and you'll be having new footage of me completing the actual altar and providing you guys with information on runes and sigils and other things like that that you can also include on your altars or anything else that you want to do even like your body which is what I did but yeah you guys let's start the video what's going on Wolfpack so today is an extremely exciting day well at least for me it is I'm super excited about this um, Today, hopefully, after I varnish the um, altar, like the one part that you saw me actually stain, I'm going to be staining with blue. And I'm going to be doing it with this uh, wood dye that I purchased, and it's so pretty. I watched a video on it, and I, and I remember going to Home Depot like, where's the blue <laughs> like stain? I thought that this was something you just buy. But they only have like that vintage looking kind of blue and that is not what I wanted at all. I wanted a hardcore like sapphire blue because like that's what I think about when I think about you know Michael. And also I feel like that I like that color as well. That's something that I seem to always incorporate somehow. Like I really like blue but it's weird like in weird ways uh, it just find its way it finds its way into my life so yeah like I have a lot of colors but when it comes to blue I find blue a little bit more important to me because of you know the energy from Michael and stuff and I want to include that with the altar like big time so hopefully I can do that I didn't prep the dye yesterday I'm going to be doing it right now um, because I was thinking about what I was going to use to measure and whatnot because I am using lacquer thinner in it and I'm a little concerned about using that in dishes that people are going to be eating out of. So I knew I had to think of a different way to get this together. So, bleh. so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. But I also have to sand the back panels as well. I am having the hardest time getting off whatever was previously on there. And hopefully I can get that off today so I can get started. But that is probably like my biggest problem. But I did stain the drawers. Like I stained the black part. And the inside is going to be blue. So I think it's ready to be stained. I don't think I have to sand it. Even though people are probably like, you should do it, you should sand it. But I'm going to be testing on this. This is what that drawer is basically made from. Except it's thinner. 
and these do like a separation within that drawer which I absolutely love because I'm going to be probably separating my like incense and oils and I think that'll be like super awesome so I'm really looking forward to that so I'm gonna use this as practice to see how the wood will take to the blue all right so I'm gonna go prepare it I don't think I'm gonna show you guys I think that I'm gonna link a video of uh, how to prepare it if you decide that you want to do this for like any type of project you might have um, I think the person who made the video did a very great job and I probably couldn't do it any better than them so you should go check out their video and I'll have a link to their video down below and also they were very helpful when it came to understanding what I needed to do in order to accomplish that color so I feel like they should like get all the credit and watch their video to get you know what you need to know plus they've been working with this stuff for a very long time so of course they're gonna know better than I would all right you guys so I made it I'm so happy so this I used to keep my uh, face cleanser in and uh, I ended up moving it to a different bottle because this wasn't very convenient it was homemade so I had to find like whatever container I could and this is what I had at the time because I go through candles like crazy so I decided to keep the blue dye stuff in here and this stuff is so pigmented I love it and I barely used any from the bottle and the bottle is so tiny look at it so this is some really good stuff I'm really happy I bought it so I'm hoping this will last and the little dot is on there because it was marking the line I put water into a measuring cup and then I put it into the glass then I put the little sticker on and marked the line and then dumped out the water and dried it because I didn't want to put the lacquer thinner inside of the glass just in case just being safe I don't want to like get anyone sick so that's what I ended up doing but uh, my altar and how it's dried it looks so good and it feels so good Here, let me show you real quick look at it oh my goodness it's so pretty it's so shiny but i'm gonna be putting the um the varnish on top so that that way it'll protect the color and everything it looks so good oh my goodness i'm so happy my drawers though oh my goodness they're so pretty i did those last night as well i'll show them to you really quick don't look at all that messed up stuff okay there's gonna be chalkboard on the back and right up underneath. And same thing right here. And I'm doing chalkboard only in the back and then on the top, but not where the drawers go because I got the visual of like nails on chalkboard and whatnot, opening and closing the drawers with that would be super annoying. So I think all I'm going to end up doing is possibly painting the inside on the walls or just going through all the way with the actual um, stain but I'm not sure yet I was thinking about paint but with how little it is I'm thinking about just doing the stain but this isn't really sanded like I guess I could stain it I should have probably did that yesterday I don't know maybe I'll do that after the first little thing of uh, varnish but same thing in here chalkboard chalkboard but yeah so it should be looking better after a varnish and whatnot and then I still haven't gotten anything done with these I'm dreading these so much like you guys have no idea oh and then this is what's going to be that blue but I really need to work on these. They need to be sanded and cleaned because I don't want that weird color affecting that blue and making it not look as pretty as I'm expecting it to look. Like I probably would have had more luck just removing this, but there's gonna be chalkboard on the back of that. I wanted everything to go back how it was. I wanted it to seat perf perfectly and stuff. <sighs> so that's why I didn't flip it. But anyways, I'm going to get started with, oh, let me show you the drawers first. So here's the drawers. They look so nice. I didn't even sand these. Like that probably was a really horrible idea, 
but they came out so nice. Look at that. I love it. And then the inside's going to be blue. So that's exciting. All right, everyone. So I just finished applying the varnish. I'm really concerned with the fact that I was wiping the altar as much as I could because there was fuzzies. And based on what I know from doing nails, or doing my own nails anyway, is <laughs> when you're using gel and you have a little fuzzy in it and then you let it cure, the fuzzy gets stuck in it, it's, it sucks. And no matter how much I wiped this, there's just freaking fuzzies. And it's bothering me because I feel like that, that is going to set in the freaking uh, varnish and it's going to look weird. <sighs> so I'm a little sad, but the way that I see it right now and how the varnish is setting, it's looking really good. It's just I see these random tiny little hairs and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> but it's whatever for right now. All I was going to do is hope for the best. So now I'm going to set up my camera and get ready to do the test board for the blue. And it's almost been exactly an hour since I made it and let it set. So that's great news. It's freaking awesome. That means that it's perfect timing. I guess someone said overnight is good as well, but uh, I don't feel like waiting that long. So. I'm going to get started with that and let's see how that goes. Pray for me, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Uh, I think actually I'm going to go make some tea and then get started because it's it's not like super hot outside, but it's hot enough to where I'm starting to get like super thirsty. So I'll be back.
All right, you guys, it's day two on the blue staining project. Uh, the varnish for the, uh, the black has already been set and stuff. It's, you know, about to dry overnight. Only problem is I had a bad dream that I went to go sand the varnish a little bit so that way I can put a second coat. And then some of the black came off. So now I kind of don't want to put a second coat on. Like, I don't think it'd be a big deal if I didn't. But I don't know. I'll have to look at it and see what I think. Um, I have to put another coat onto the blue. So that way I can get that deeper blue that I want. I did the back panels and I am only going to do the bottom inside of the drawers because I don't think that I'll have that much blue left over to be able to handle the whole inside. But I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I don't think it'll look any less awesome. It's just I really want that blue to pop. So I'm going to be doing that. <sighs> but... We'll see how far I can get that blue to last. I don't know if it's going to be lasting as long, especially with how deep of a blue I'm trying to get. So we'll see. But I'm going to go check on everything and see where I'm at. All right, you guys. So this is what the panels are looking like so far. And that's not dark enough yet. So I got more ready to do. And then these are the little test panels that I showed you. So now I'm going to put another coat on them and see where I'm at. Alright everybody, so here are those little slabs I showed you. And as you can see, there's like this shine. It's because I just put some of the um, polyurethane or whatever on top. And I noticed that once you put the clear coat basically on top, it brings out the color a lot more because I kept on putting layer after layer after layer because I didn't want it to end up green and it actually looks really freaking cool. I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to dry and do another coat. Let me show you without. So these are the back panels and this is what I've gotten done so far and this is what it looks like without the clear coat on top. Now I'm going to try to attempt to do at least another two coats and then the clear coat but I'm hoping that after the clear coat will end up looking like this because this is exactly what I'm going for I freaking love it like on the camera you can see the blue like hardcore but if you look in person there's like a little couple spots of a light green tint going on but ah, that blue it's so beautiful I'm so excited Here's what the altar is looking like so far. I just did one coat of the chalkboard that is in the back and on top right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to apply. As you can see, there's like a lot of white parts. It seemed like that as I kept on trying to move around the color, it just kept on removing color. So I decided to do like one light coat and then wait for it to dry and then I'll do another coat. As you can see, there's like a really little messed up spot right there. <laughs> Hopefully I can take care of that, but it won't be that big of a deal. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to look as good as possible. But it'll be in the inside. It's not necessarily something to freak out about. This is what the altar looks like with the coat of clear. And it's coming out pretty good. I'm really excited. Let's see what happens. Oh. And look at my fingers, if it'll focus. This isn't from like chemicals and stuff, this is from like rubbing on stuff and also like sanding. My phone can't even recognize my thumb. My poor little hands. And then this one's got blue stain on it. This is just from like when I grab the bottles sometimes and I don't have gloves on, it stained my fingers. But yeah, Ooh, I'm so excited. Alright you guys, I really really hope you enjoyed that video. I am going to put out more content. I know I keep saying that, but I've I've been working so hard, like so hard it's insane and I I have so much in me that I want to do and I'm going to do it. Just give me the time and remain patient with me, which you guys have been so patient and I super appreciate it. Thank you for helping with these videos and helping me be able to get these sponsorships because none of it would be possible 
without you guys and I mean that with all my heart because it's just insane how lucky I am to have all of you guys and have the wolf pack so if uh, you want to continue supporting this channel of course subscribe like the video share it um, check out soul feel see if there's anything there you would like you don't have to buy anything but if you do check it out that'd be awesome and if you go to soul feels Instagram shout me out put like a wolf and a heart in there to just let them know that you were sent by Akasha so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I talk so much and I need to keep up with my stuff I do want to try to push out a weekly witchy tip uh, it's not going to be a long video, it's going to be kind of like a really short, quick video, but we'll provide you with witchy information. And I hope to be upgrading my stuff now that I'm going to start working and making some money, hopefully. And I would love to update and make this stuff better for you guys. I want to hopefully get a better camera, better lighting. I don't have a ring light, ring light you guys. This, this is like the light that you put in your house for Christmas, and I swirled it together and made it look like a ring light so I have some lighting. Hopefully some better sound would be great but this is all stuff I'm working on myself to bring to you guys so thank you so much for being a part of this. If you decide to check out Soul Feel, use this coupon code right here to get you 50% 15% off of your entire purchase. I'll talk to you guys later. Please check out all my social media and let me know what type of stuff you'd like to see and I will do my best to bring it to you. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye and blessed be.